sit down. Oh, why do I look ratchet? I feel like when I have hoop earrings, I look so ratchet. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna just start the video like this, guys. Um, because I thought, let me just do it differently this time. I'm just so sick of it. I don't want to do my posy posy in the beginning like I always do. Even though it's nice sometimes, but I'm just going to go with the flow today. Like I always do. That's how I am in life in general, to be honest. I just go with the flow. I don't really know what makeup look I'm going to go to for today, but I want it to be like super glam. But we'll see. Super glam, like Instagram-y kind of. I don't know. These hoop earrings are from H&M, by the way. You get like a pack of three for pounds or something so much crap in front of me but anyways i hope you guys are all doing well and having a lovely week so far i'm um, to be honest i've been doing so much overtime i'm literally so tired i'm gonna be using all drugstore products today which i love doing because i've got so many drugstore stuff and i know you guys love it too so i'm gonna make it more of a regular thing but before i start rambling on and forgetting how to like to even do my makeup i'm going to start off with my soap and glory two in one brow filling pencil in dark chocolate i'm going to show you in real time like what, how long this takes me because when i use this brow pencil it only takes a few minutes not even just make sure you comb it all out always go upwards in the in the front done it literally took a minute not even i love this brow pencil i wanted to touch up on something that has been going on lately and i find it so weird like i'm it's weird but i'm so grateful and you know it makes me really happy some of you guys kind of come up to me and say hi and i love that like i love meeting you guys i had a few girls um, say hi to me in Richmond the other day. Hi girls if you're watching, um, but I don't know, I just overthink, I overthinked it, I, I overthought it, that's how you say what was my English? But anyways, I, I kind of overthink it and I'm like, did I, was I nice enough to them? Or like, because to be honest, like, I'm, I'm like, I want to be so nice and like, you know, approachable and just the way I am and I feel like when you come to me I get a bit nervous and a bit shocked and a bit like it's just me and my big round cheeks like why why would you want to take pictures of this old face like it's to me it's just like it's just me um I do appreciate it and if I do ever come across like mean or just cold just please just just tell me like I you guys keep it real for me anytime I do something wrong or you know and I love that I love that I have that you know honest relationship with you guys so if I ever am like that I want you guys to tell me and you know I just I, I feel like I overthink it and then I'm just like did I ask for their names did I tell them to tag me on Instagram so I can see the pictures did I was I kind enough um like I just overthink it and it worries me and I feel like was I hope they they didn't think I was like being a bitch basically Like some of you guys, I don't know but if it's just me, some of you guys look at me from a distance, you're smiling or you're not smiling, you're kind of trying to figure out if I'm that person or if it's Anushka or not and I'm just like, this person's looking at me, what do I do? I get so intimidated when people stare at me or um, they're just staring at just people in general like in the bus like me and my sister we get so thrown off by it and we start laughing or my sister cut starts getting like a bit funny if you do see me just and you're not sure just go to the person if they if it's not then the worst they will say is no but if you see me come say hi i love it like it makes me so happy and i don't know i just want to give you guys big hugs i'm a very huggy person i don't know if you guys know that so yeah if you do see me come say hi i love to meet you all and I was thinking maybe if I reach if I reach a hundred thousand subscribers and I was thinking to do maybe like a meet and greet kind of thing not even like to like just a casual one in the park or you know somewhere in London um, with my sister maybe and yeah maybe I should I was just thinking maybe we should do that and that would be so cool like oh my god that would be so fun 
Anyways, I'm rambling on again. My sister said, uh, my sister was with me once and she was like, you were nice and fine, but I feel like I overthink it so, so much. And like, I just want to make sure that I'm just so nice to you. Cause to be honest, I wouldn't be here without you. So I'm just using my wonder kiss from wonder Two. I am so obsessed at making things plump my lips. This is the best thing I've seen so far that plumps my lips and I put it over a bit because it makes the cupid's bow swell up a bit you'll see in a minute and it feels like an oil it's not sticky I did also put some um, L'Oreal Brow, Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark so next up I'm gonna use my NYX my NYX Gotcha Covered Concealing Golden I just put a dollop on my forehead I'm using my doe color brushes oh no yeah my doe color brushes I've been loving these um, I'll leave links to it in the info box and I think I have a code on it as well and I'll actually um, they are available on Amazon as well so I don't know if you guys have seen that the Huda Beauty palette is discontinuing and I'm very sad to hear that but I'm sad as well that I can't use it in makeup tutorials anymore. I will still use mine. I use it literally every day mostly. But yeah, I put myself on the waiting list for the Desert Sands palette. I think that's what it's called. It's on Cult Beauty, but there's a waiting list. I'm first going to prime my lids with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in medium deep tan. I'm going to go all over. So today I'm going to be using the Balm Cosmetics Nude Beach Palette. It's a new one. I have the Nude Tude Palette. So this is what the palette looks like. It's got more like orangey tones, reddish tones. I'm going to first be using the shade Brilliant as my base. Just to set... Then I'm going to be using the shade Bo Bodacious, Bodacious. So I'm going to keep it quite round. Oh, I'm loving this. This is definitely by far better than the Nude. Just like the shadows, like they work differently. Like they're more softer and they're not as like chalky. I'm going to use the colour Brazen, which is a very dark colour. Let's see how this gets on. I don't know if you guys have realised, but the reason why I don't put earrings is that this one's going red. Because I haven't worn earrings in ages. The reason why I don't wear earrings that much is because my holes are so dodgy. Like, one's really low and one's so high. My mum got... I basically got them done when I was like six months old. I don't know where the hell my mum bought me. This brown is definitely like a very cool tone brown. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take the little brush that comes from the palette and I'm gonna take the shade Built, which is, oh my God, this shadow feels so soft. And I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my Jar Cosmetics Lay All Day Setting Spray in Coconut. And I'm just gonna go right in that inner corner. Is that pretty or is that just ridiculous? It's like molten. So I'm gonna keep it like that now. Right, that's kind of pretty. It's definitely something new. I'm gonna curl my lashes now. Today I'm gonna be using my Body Shop Lash Hero 5 Extension Mascara. This is what the mascara looks like. 
comes with the fiber side and the mascara side. I'm going to first put the mascara on. Oh, that mascara is definitely really good. Like, I can just tell, like, the way it lifts my lashes. I'm so picky about mascaras, like, you guys don't know. So I'm going to use the fiber side. Back in with another coat. Before and after. I don't even know what just happened there. <sighs> the things I do. too bad so I'm just going to take brilliant again and just highlight that and clean that edge so far it's not going clumpy okay so that's my eyes done for now first thing I'm going to use on my face is my early girl correct toner orange oh my god no guys you need to see this look how swollen it is it's it looks like a bubble I'm telling you guys, this Wonder Kiss is the best thing ever that I've tried. Do you know, I was almost going to get lip fillers, but then I was kind of like, why am I doing it? Am I doing it to follow a trend or do, am I doing it because I genuinely want it? And I kind of figured out that I was kind of doing it for a trend. I mean, I do like that effect where, you know when you put makeup on, it's like smooth. I feel like that wasn't a good enough reason. I'm not someone that is self-conscious on my lips. My lips are a good size. I honestly just wanted it to get rid of like the lines and just make it a tad bit plump, not necessarily bigger, but just, you know, plumps where there's no line. But then I'm just like, do I really need it? I can just use makeup products. I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild foundation in caramel. I hate the smell. I hate the smell. I do have a review. I posted it yesterday. I'll link it in the info box if you guys want to watch that. My jaw. My jaw is killing me. I couldn't even sleep last night. This is my Sigma 3D HE Kabuki brush. This foundation is so good, but it smells nasty. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Conceal again. By the way, this spot is me picking out a spot. And it's taking ages to heal and I'm probably going to get a scar from it but that's where my dermal rolling comes in and highlight that forehead my nose I would love this concealer I'm just going to use my beauty blender I'm not going too close to my lash line because I'm going to be using eyeshadow there anyways so this mascara gives lots of length but not as much volume in my opinion so if you're you're looking for like a lot of length this is good because the fibers helps to give that lengthy fluttery eyelash look look at this combo it's perfect guys i wish the foundation didn't smell but a lot of you guys did tell me that it's not just mine it's you guys you guys have one that smells well so it's not just me just baking That was my W7 Banana Dreams powder. Then I'm going to be getting my Fit Me powder in 250. Just lightly set this because this is a very matte 
foundation but because this powder is a bit light i like to just put it in some areas bronzer today um i'm going to be using my nip and fab contour palette in dark and i'm going to use these two colors so i really like to bronze the, my hairline because i've highlighted this bit and then i contour my hairline and it just makes it look so much defined brushing off the powder whatever excess powder I get on my brush putting it underneath my contour the blush I'm going to use my the balm balm springs blush which looks like that then for highlighter I'm going to be using my Solar Glows by Beauty Addict um, and I'm using Dusk and Sunrise. I kind of mix the two together. I just slowly build it up. And then finally, I'm just going to set my whole face with the Gel Cosmetics Setting Spray in Coconut. Just to make everything melt together. And while my neck is a bit wet, I'm going to put some Dusk Solar Glow on my collarbone. This is dusk by the way. Mm. So I just wipe my lips before I put my lipstick on. I'm gonna use my Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton. And then on top of that, I'm going to use my, my NYX Cosmic Metals in Celestial. I've been obsessed with these. I'm wearing it like every day. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the eyes. So I'm going to go in with that orangey shade. So Bodacious first. And just oh, blend that underneath. We're almost done guys, we're almost done. I don't know how long this video is going to be. And then I'm going to go in with a really tiny brush with the brown brazen. And that's just going to go closer to the lash line. I'm also going to use my Primark Coal Pencil. This pencil is like surprisingly creamy. And I'm also going to go back in with the Body Shop Mascara and I'm going to use the mascara side. I always apply mascara on my lower lashes. So that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Very chatty one. I don't know how long this video is going to be. You could also wear lashes if you wanted because it's quite a dramatic eye, it's quite dark, so you could also wear lashes with it. But the new Nude Beach palette is seriously really, really good. Like, the colours are so easy to blend. You can also get this from Superdrugs. They have the balm at Superdrugs now. Um, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you always give me. Like, it really warms my heart up and seriously, it makes my day. Like, it really, really makes my day and I'm just reading your comments. It just means the world to me, so let me not get emotional. Keep it together, Nushka. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what other videos you would like to see in the future. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time, which will be tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.